Hello, it's Rabbi Ganak, and I wanted to share a message with you, the members of the Riverdale CSS, something that struck me this past week. I was walking past the RJC this week, and I saw that we were able this week to repair the stairs at the front of the shul. We had to wait till warm weather so that the stones could be put on and cemented down, but finally we got it done. And the cementing of the stairs, the fixing of the stairs leading to the shul, reminded me of a medrash, and that reminded me of CSS. I want to share this medrash, medrash with you. The medrash says that Avraham, after his son Yishmael left and went to go live in the Midbar in the desert, Avraham three years later went to go visit his son. And the Medrash in Pirkei de Rebbe Lazar in the 30th chapter says that Avraham went to the Midbar, he went on his camel, and he arrived at Yishmael's tent. Yishmael's tent was somewhere in the desert, somewhere all by itself. And Avraham arrives, and Yishmael's not home. He instead speaks to Yishmael's wife, and he says to Yishmael's wife, you know, I just had this long journey. I came all the way from the land of Canaan. Do you have any bread or water that you could share? And Avraham's wife says, I have no bread and I have no water. Now remember how Avraham treated the Malachim, the three of the Malachim who came to visit him. He said, I'll give you bread and water, and instead he provided a whole feast. And now his son, Yishmael, he comes to his home, he asks for a little bit of bread and water, and he's given nothing. So Avraham, who's getting ready to leave, tells Yishmael's wife, he says, I have a message for Yishmael. I have a message for your husband. He says, tell him that an old man, a Zakin Echad, came from the land of Canaan to visit him, and tell him that he needs to fix the stairs of his house, because the stairs are not appropriate for his type of home. And with that, Avraham left. Yishmael later that day returns from out in the wilderness collecting food, and his wife tells him what happened. And Yishmael immediately understands that the Zakin Echad was his father, Avraham, and fixing the stairs of his home represents making his home more welcoming to the stranger, making sure that when somebody stops by, they have water to give, they have bread to share. And three years later, again, Avraham comes to visit, and again, Yishmael is not home. But this time, when Avraham arrives, he asks Yishmael's wife, do you have bread and water that you can share? And Yishmael's home has changed since then. And his wife presents him with bread, presents him with water. And Avram feels satisfied that now Yishmael is carrying on the tradition of his home. And so Avraham, on his camel, as he again prepares to leave, this time he prays to Hashem that Yishmael's home always be blessed. And when Yishmael returns that night, he finds his tent full with fruits and vegetables and food and gold, and forever Yishmael is, is blessed because of that one time when Avram stopped by and Yishmael had learned that he had to fix his stairs. He had to welcome those as they came in. And fixing the stairs of our shul reminded me of this medrash, and that reminded me of the CSS, because CSS, while it's made, it's created as a security group, serves a very important purpose for our shul. They're the first face that everybody sees on the sidewalk. And often, again and again, I'm told how the members of CSS, you greet each person with a good Shabbos, a how are you, help those who need help up the stairs, direct people to the room that they're looking for in the shul. And that's a really important collateral benefit of CSS. It's a really important collateral benefit of having people on the front line who are vigilant for our safety and are very welcoming and caring at the same time. As Rabbi Rosenblatt once said, the walls that protect are also the gates that welcome. And I want to say thank you to you and to continue to encourage you to be that welcoming face that's always on the sidewalk when people come Shabbos morning to the RJC. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your dedication. And thank you for representing the stairs which are repaired. Have a wonderful Shabbos.